I would like to give a special nail addict shout out to I Love Nails, Sammy the Goat, Queen Miss Chris, and Nikki for being the first four to comment on my last video. Thank you. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I have Madame Glam's November collection, Harvest Hues. Um, and if you're not aware of Madame Glam, I do want to put out there every time that they are vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 form free formula and hema free so for me a very safe formula if you're someone that deals with allergies to gels i feel like mountain glam is right up your alley it comes with eight soap off gels all of the colors look really really pretty and i can definitely say i definitely see fall vibes with this collection and we're gonna jump right in the first shade here is fall serenade Capture the essence of autumn with a warm, rusty orange red that evokes cozy evenings and falling leaves. This inviting shade glides on effortlessly, providing a creamy finish that adds warmth and sophistication to your nails. Perfect for the season. So this definitely, all kinds of like orange hues for me and browns definitely scream fall. And this color here definitely, definitely 100% is saying fall all day. So beautiful, so creamy, just absolutely gorgeous. this next color i love the name it's apple pie embrace the warmth of autumn with a dark red brick hue reminiscent of cozy gatherings and delicious treats this rich shade combines earthy undertones with vibrant red offering a luxurious finish that lasts so i don't know i kind of get apple pie vibes from this one um like the more i used it so originally i did a set with this um like as like the main color and i really didn't like it so i went back to the drawing board with my fake hand and we'll see that later on in the video but again a very beautiful vibrant shade the next shade i'm showing out of the collection is called traditional and it's a nude soak off gel experience timeless elegance with a light orangey nude that enhances any skin tone this classic shade is perfect for an understated polished look offering a smooth application and lasting finish that embodies the essence of simplicity and sophistication definitely gives sophistication to me i love a good nude um, it's a staple it's something that we always need um, and i am so ready to try this in a set like with my skin tone just to see how it works but it's an absolute beautiful shade the next color out of the collection is cozy blanket which is a nude soak off gel wrap your nails in comfort with a creamy nude that radiates warmth and softness this gentle shade creates a chic polished look for everyday wear ensuring smooth application and long lasting finish that feels as good as it looks so it's a really nice like super light nude um i feel like i know this one wouldn't work for me specifically but it's a really pretty shade that i can use like with nail art and things like that um but again just the application alone is is everything and just look how gorgeous this shade is The next shade that I'm pulling out is Leaf Bliss, and this is a Golden Bronze Flakes No Wipe Top Coat. Enhance your manicure with a transparent formula featuring gold and bronze flakes that mimic the beauty of autumn leaves. 
Enjoy a dazzling finish without sticky residue, providing a protective layer and seasonal elegance to any color. So I love that this is a top coat, so absolutely gorgeous. And like the gold and bronze flakes are absolutely perfect. The next shade in this collection that I'm pulling out is Teal Deal. It's a blue soak off gel polish. Make a statement with a teal that combines freshness with earthy tones. This versatile shade is ideal for any occasion, providing a chic finish that complements your style. So definitely giving more green. I actually like to read the details off of their site when I do show you the colors. I love how they describe every color. Um, and it just, I don't know, it gives a special effect. Like for me, I would like that if someone would take the time to do that. I feel like it, it just enhances and entices you a little bit more with um, the gels. But again, such a beautiful, like minty green shade. It's so pretty. I love the shade. The next gel is called Stormy Day and they're saying it's in their blue teal soak off gel polish. A dark teal blue that captures the essence of calmness and sophistication. Perfect for making a bold statement, this shade transforms your nails into a striking masterpiece, ensuring a smooth application and long lasting wear for any occasion. So super pretty blue, blue, excuse me, blue <laughs> for sure. Not really seen teal, but I, I do love this blue. It's a very nice shade um, and I want to see what I can create with it. It's super cute. I love the name of this polish as well. And last but definitely not least is Nature's Gift. It's a green soak off gel polish. Celebrate nature's beauty with a deep olive green that embodies tranquility and sophistication. This earthy shade is perfect for adding a touch of elegance to your nails, providing a smooth application and a stunning finish that brings the serenity of the outdoors to your fingertips. Definitely love me a good olive green. And I have several in my collection, but this is like a lighter type of olive green. And I, I'm so happy to have it because it just balances out what I already have. But it's such a gorgeous shade and I plan on using it a lot this fall season. Love the one coat coverage. Just absolutely beautiful. This shade was one of my favorite out of the collection. And these are all eight shades side by side. Again, I definitely see fall all day as soon as I take a glance at the colors. All so absolutely gorgeous. If you're interested, I'll have everything linked down below as well as my discount code where you can save you some coins. And as always, thank you so much, Madam Glam. So jumping right into the set, I am using my fake hand for the first time in forever, y'all. I just had to try because I had did a set with these gels before and I really didn't like it. Um, so this is like pretty much trial and error. I'm just trying to get the feel of my fake can so I'm able to use it a little bit more because again I've spent so much money on hands and I don't use them and I need to use utilize them especially for my upcoming 25 days of Christmas nails because that's quite a few nails to do with just my hand and I did that last year and it was super exhausting so I'm now taking the chance here to just practice all my practicing. So the design I tried, decided to try on my hand this time, I used apple pie, fall abundance, or So for the set today, I decided to use apple pie, excuse me, <laughs> fall serenade, nature's gift, and um, teal deal for a very simple set. Again, I'm just trying to kind of test everything out with the camera, um, see what kind of angling I need to do and things like that to perfect using the hand and creating a very nice set because I love how realistic this hand looks. I hate how wobbly it is. It's kind of like really wobbly, but it's really nice. I love the stand that it comes with. I will link it down below for anyone that may be interested or need a practice hand. This is pretty good. 
I just have to get the positioning correct for me and the camera. I also have to get the sizing down. So for these, my pinky and well, quite a few of them were a bit small for the nail bed that I had put into the nail. But it's just, again, it's just trial and error. And it was really fun trying this. I know I'm going to be able to create so much more um, very nice and cool designs with the hand. And I just want to get used to it. So right now I'm just outlining uh, like leaves. So I'm doing leaves on the side of the nail in the four shades that I did choose to use. And I don't know, I just kind of thought about this in my head and I felt like it would be super cute. I kind of didn't like how they came out or the finished product of the nail set. But again, for me, this was more so me just trying to use my practice hand and I, I love it. I feel like I'm going to get super comfortable with it and again, be able to create so much more um, on here and be able to practice a lot more like with my nail art and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to... Um, getting more designs out with my practice hand for the upcoming Christmas season. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And as always, thank you so much to anyone that does take their time to watch my videos. Watching my videos to the end does actually help your girl out quite a bit. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family. And I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. It means everything to me. And if you've been subscribed to the channel, then you know that I love you oh so much. And I'm very thankful and grateful for you all. So once I got all of my leaves set, I'm now going in with Perfect Black to try and outline them and make the inner lines. And this is where I messed up. This is where I realized I probably should have made the leaves a little bit bigger. Um, I should have made the outline portion a little bit thinner on some of them. Um, and then I would have been able to make the middle piece like very effortlessly. Um, it worked for the most part. Again, this was just practice for me. I feel like I know that I would have done better on my actual hand. <laughs> but my mind was just like, I don't know. I was just trying to make sure I had everything in frame. And I don't know. I'm just trying to get used pretty much to using a practice hand with the camera and, you know, the angling and everything. So, like, for this finger, everything was pretty blurry. But going forward, everything does clear up. So uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings with it because it's a lot different to me from doing like one of my daughters. Y'all know I do my daughters effortlessly. I don't have a problem. We're in frame. You can see everything. It's comfortable. Um, but again, if you know, you know. But this hand here, you see how it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it, it just, I have to get used to it. And I know I will. Um, and I just need to utilize my what I've invested in. Like I've spent the red iguana a few hundred dollars on that. And I've used it on my channel maybe three times. Maybe not even. Maybe just twice. Um, and this one, I believe at least once. So I just need to, to use my investments. And it will help me more in the future as well. Although again, I do feel like I do better on a live person. Um, I, I feel like it'll still be great practice as well. So again, I'm just outlining everything on each finger, um, trying to make my middle lines and my, my, just my lines. Um, I did the best I could. It really wasn't me perfecting anything. Again, it was just me kind of playing around. But once I got everything outlined, I do care for a full 30 seconds in my lap.
And then I just decided to take all four colors that I chose and just make random dots on either like the the open side of the nails and then I give that a 30 second cure in my lamp. And last but not least, I'm taking Leaf Bliss, which, which is the no white top coat in the collection. Um, and I'm just going over and I'm trying to make the layer as thin as possible so that the glitter doesn't overshadow the actual design itself. But it still gives it that very nice pop of like glisten. After I use the brush from the bottle to put on the top coat, I'm then going to take uh, just a random gel brush and kind of like go over it again, kind of again to thin out the glitters of the top coat so it doesn't like overshadow the actual design itself and then I give it a 30 second cure in my lamp. And here is the finished set. It's super cute, um, simple, straight to the point. Again, I feel like it could have been a lot neater, but we're at trial and error. If you've made it this far into the video, I definitely would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. Also, comment down below and let me know what your favorite color out of the collection was. I'll see you in my next one, and remember, to be the very best you that you can be, and much love to all.